What's going on people? Zach's fish and shrimp room. Wasn't able to get an unboxing. It's kind of late, but uh, I did get three new types of uh, Caradina. Okay. I got some super crystal blacks, some golden bees, and there's a couple, like there's one or two snow whites in there. And I got some orange eye royal blue tigers. I said that right, I did. So uh, we're gonna go through and kind of pan through each tank here. It's crazy how stuff's actually starting to kind of fill out. I probably won't do the top rack for a little while. I, these might be project tanks. I might throw in like blue bolts, uh, some fancy tigers. But I have these other two tanks here. I wanna start with uh, red and black fishbone pintos. And I want some uh, some lower grade galaxies to kind of start off with. I don't wanna just buy a bunch of expensive stuff just right off the bat. So we're gonna kind of go through and pan through each of these tanks and kind of show you, show you guys what all I've gotten. All right, before we get to the new stuff that I've just gotten, um, I've had these guys for four days now. These are crystal reds and there's a couple of uh, pure red lines. Some of these females are still buried, but I've been seeing a couple small specks of crystal reds like back on the filters and whatnot. But these guys have done pretty good. I think that's a nice female back there. But they've just been kind of hanging out. I've fed them twice in the last four days. I think what really helped acclimating all these shrimp was already putting Bacter AE in the tanks. Um, that way they, they already have food in there ready to go. They can start grazing and not have to worry about a single thing. So in here are the Super Crystal Blacks. I think I got 26 of them, but I had three not make it during acclimation. One of the bags was uh, broken transit, which I think that caused just too much stress for them and they, they didn't make it. Let's see if we can zoom in here. So there they are back there. Most of them are one line, some of them are two lines. Um, they're just little guys. There was a couple bigger ones. You can see it. a couple of them back there. There's a bigger one that just came out, see. I mean, I like them. Eventually I'll have a 20 gallon down here. I'll probably have two 20 gallons of just mixed stuff. All right, over here I've got the golden bees. This one's really golden. Dang, my phone did a really good job at focusing in on that. So this is like a golden bee. You look back here, those are really, those are pretty white. I think I had 23 of these to start off with. None died in transit. And I haven't seen any die in here yet. But we'll see. I don't know, these guys are pretty cool. I like them. But this one right here is, that one's really golden. Next over here are the Orange Eye Royal Blue Tigers. They don't, uh, Let's see if I can find any up close. They've never really been up close. I think they like the dark. I don't, I don't know what's up. They like hanging around that sponge filter and they'll hang out inside that piece of cholo wood in the back. I'm also starting with uh, some Salvinia. I started off, I started with nine leaves. Now I'm up to 11. It's been about a week. I'm not seeing any up close here. Oh well. Let's, uh, for giggles, let's come over to 
These are the super tigers. There's that female. She's she's still buried. She was she got buried on March 18th. Today's the 28th. So she's been buried for a week and a half now. Uh, these guys have been doing really good. They're really active, especially when I put food in. And I'm starting to get kind of see. Um, starting to get algae on the sides, which I really like. I'll, I'll leave these lights on for a while. And uh, I don't know what's going on up here. I gave them some snowflake, and now they're being all crazy and whatnot. I'm gonna um, probably turn the light off. Uh, they'll probably calm down after that. But yeah, so yeah, that's kind of the uh, new Caradina now. It's finally coming together. Maybe one day I'll get another rack set up over there. But I'm, I gotta fill up all this stuff first and do it for a while and figure something out. That'll, what I might, I don't know. Yeah, that's that's just kind of what I, I'm, I want more Caradina tanks. I want a lot more varieties. Right now I just have the six different types. So I, I'll see how that goes. I won't go full on. But eventually, I'll, I personally, I'd like to be the biggest Caradina or slash shrimp guy in all of the Midwest, especially Iowa. I don't think very many people have Caradina shrimp in Iowa. I definitely want to be that guy. So here we go. <laughs> well, if you guys like the video, like and subscribe. I'll do another update here in the, whenever I get new stuff or I start getting loads of babies in these tanks. So yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Have a good day.